Hey everybody, it's Dave TV on location. And today uh, I took a, a long hike across my condo complex to visit with Anne Marie. Hello. How you doing, Anne? I'm doing fine. That's good. Now tell me, Anne, um, since I do a media website, you were on the radio. Yes. You're a radio veteran. Tell me a little bit about that. In college, I was a DJ, 1993 to 97, for C92, 92.1 FM. Oh, a commercial license, or yeah, well. Yes, I I did have my FCC license. Did you Did you play commercials? Yes. 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 Yeah, because yeah. It okay, was so required. what was what was the school now? West Virginia Wesleyan. West Virginia Wesleyan, and they they are where? Cannon. Buc West Virginia. Buchanan, West Virginia. Where, where in West Virginia is that? It's about um, two hours from Cumberland. Okay. So let's see. Cumberland is in far western Maryland, and then you go further west. I guess further south. Yes. Yeah. It is way over western there. Maryland. So you're kind of almost Pittsburgh, huh? South of Pittsburgh. Um, nah. No. Nah. I. I don't know. I'm I'm <laughs> terrible with geography. <laughs> So what did you do now? You were on air? Yes, I was on air. I was the Uptown Girl. That was my call name. The Uptown Girl. Yeah. You didn't you didn't use your your real name. Um no, I did not. We all had call names yeah. particularly for our different shows. I had um I had several theme shows, mostly 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. Okay. Um, well, actually, uh, back then it was 60s, 70s, yes. 80s. Yes, oldies were yeah. older back then, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oldies were older. That they don't even use the term name. oldies that much anymore, do they? You know, you, you hear they go, the hits of the 80s, 90s, and today. Yeah, they use or classic the term hits. classics. Yeah, big, yeah, W Big does classic hits, yeah. even though a lot of what they play is. Very cool. So what kind, of, what kind of artist did you like to play? Well, that was a nice thing. With a uh, college radio station, we got to choose our own music. Oh, wow. We didn't have required the only required was we had to follow the FCC rules as far as to play commercials. Right. Uh, every half hour, do public service announcements. Top of the hour station ID with your call letters and your city of license. Exactly. And what were those call letters again? C92.1 FM. C92. But do you remember the W blah, blah, blah? You remember that one? Oh, uh, no, we didn't have a... Oh, okay. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> actually, we only had 10 watts. Ten, oh, 10, big. Well, okay, yeah, I get it. You were probably some weird call letter, like W14X3956. Oh, yeah. I don't even... Yeah. Um, actually, what ours was, was we had... 500 watts. Yes. But you lost along them. came the new gym and we had to lose. Really? Why? Uh, I think it was because there was some big donor, big wig donor came along and. Yeah. Well, 10 watts, your power bill would be a lot lower, right? <laughs> They're figuring ways of cutting costs. 10 watts of power is a lot less than 500. Yes, but. It was basically, it was a rather large station, yeah. and we had to learn all all kinds of different digital, and to turn on, the, and our, oh, that was just, it was Did you have to take the transmitter readings and all that and write them down and look at the little meters and exactly. put them in the log book and everything? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes, we did have to wow. keep track of all that. Now, uh, when you got in your car and drove away from the station, how far did the signal go? Did you could you did you ever measure it someday and say, "Ooh, I can get to the next town and still hear it"? Well, I never had a car. But oh, but get on the bus or I did get, get on a horse from several townies. Oh, okay. Well, from Buchanan, yes, and I actually had some come and meet me at the bar. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. I was well known. 
Okay. This was, I don't want to date you too much, but what years are we talking about here? Is it? 93 to 93. 97. Oh, okay. The 90s. Yeah. Very good. You know, those little 10 watt stations, if you've got your antenna up on a mountain, you know, you can get pretty good coverage. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very good. Okay. So what, would, what did you major in in college? Well, in college, I, I had a double major. Uh -huh. I majored in human ecology, which was like home economics, but it uh, branched out into several. You had your, like a Venn diagram, if you will. You had your core, which is human ecology, but there was nursing and nutrition, uh -huh. fashion, finances, and uh What's the other thing? It's fashion design. So you never put your radio, you never did radio after you got out of college, huh? You never got a job I at didn't. a... I didn't. I know. really wanted to, but there really was no outlet for me here. Yeah, yeah, you know? okay. I mean, at least uh, because of my driving skills or <laughs> lack thereof. Uh, so you grew up in the Washington area? That's correct. So you're yes. a native of this area, huh? Well, not so much. I was born in, uh, I was born on an army base in Maryland, and I lived there until I was three. Then we moved here. Uh huh. And uh, which is Reston, Virginia, right? Reston, yes. Yeah, right near, right around the corner from where I live. Yeah. Right. Well, we actually. Surpri surprisingly lived in the same house um in fact my mother still lives in the same house so wow. i guess going on 40 years now wow um so, and then, so yeah yeah go ahead oh i was just gonna say that um i've lived in in uh rest in, ever since, since yeah, yeah i've lived here 40 some years ah! Anyway, so what radio stations do you like to listen to now? Are there any particular formats or any local stations that you really tune the dial to when you when you're well, listening to the radio? Uh, Since you don't do a lot of driving, you probably that's probably where most right. people listen to radio most. Yeah, and I would have to say that uh, the the radio the actual DJs and the radio itself has taken a turn. Mostly to iPods yes. and uh, XM mm -hmm. or uh, XM Sirius, they kind of merge. Right, right. And so I always liked Q107. Oh, right, right. Or now Mix 107.3. That was basically what I modeled my radio station after. Right. In fact, when I was a little girl, I used to make up tapes, you know, like okay. actual tapes of, you know, I would play the drums on, on pillows and whatever and mm -hmm. pretend that I was the DJ. So, uh... I did the same thing. I went down in the basement yeah. with a couple of record players and a tape machine and I would make up a little, play a little radio station. Yeah. 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 A lot of people did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yes. Did you did you like Jack Diamond? I did. I yeah. did. We've been yeah. covering my website. That was one of our big stories. Is you know him getting canned and looking for work in other markets and whether they'll bring him back or not. Doesn't look like they will though. But uh. well, I uh, yeah, I actually called into the station a lot. Oh really? Talked to several of the DJs, and I would win. Um, several contests uh -huh. in fact what like the first well not the first but uh one of the early concerts that i went to was stevie nicks oh okay which i won wow. tickets to oh, wow. from q107, q107. Huh. very good yeah wow yes so i i modeled my uh, my own radio show and theme shows thereafter based on Q107. Very good. All righty, Anne. Well, listen, Anne-Marie, um, we're hitting the 10-minute mark, and I like to keep these roughly 10 minutes long. So I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to talk to DCRTVDave.com. Appreciate it.
You're welcome. And it's nice to see a fellow radio fan, and uh, here I am, so I'm really here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right, thank you very much, Anne. Thank and, uh, you, Dave. Thank you for being part of DCRTV.com.